Speaking uh, with us right here in the studio and chatting with us, we have Nova Hall. He is artist and project manager for the uh, Flying Over Time, the Spirit of St. Louis exhibit. And what this is, he is the grandson of Donald Hall, mm -hmm. and Donald Hall was the designer and engineer of the uh, plane that Charles Lindbergh flew in 1927? 27? 27, 1927. Yes, across the yeah. Atlantic. Yep, first solo flight from New York to Paris. Yes. And he won the Ortigue Prize for $25,000 at the time, which... Yeah. Effectively, millions you, at the time. You know what? Mm -hmm. You talk about courage. That's courage to the utmost, isn't yes. it? Yes. Well, and that's one of the things that we hope to address, especially in the exhibit, is how much of it is courage, how much of it is exquisite planning, and uh -huh. how much is teamwork. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, thank you for staying with us right here on Morning Scramble. We do apologize. Uh, we were unable to get Paul Gosar on the phone. We will speak to him later in the week. And uh, uh, Nova, this exhibit, tell us where and when. Well, it is opening this Friday for the first time at Arizona State University on the West Campus. Mm -hmm. We will be in La Sala B and C. It's a huge, a huge exhibition, over 21 different paintings, over 15 different prints, a play that has been, all of this has been crafted at ASU West using especially their, their IAP program, which is mm -hmm. very unique to their program. Nova, let people know throughout the state, there is an ASU campus in Tempe. That's the one people, most people are familiar with. Exactly. The West Campus, uh, can you give them address and how to find that? Yes, the, the West Campus, well, you can go to flyingovertime.com. Okay. Right there, that'll give you a map immediately, straight to where you need to be. Okay. But uh, it is, I believe it's 47th Avenue and mm -hmm. Thunderbird. Mm -hmm. Uh, tell us a little bit about your grandfather's collaboration with Charles Lindbergh. Well, my, my grandfather was a bit of a renaissance man at the time. He was born in 1898, and he, uh, he was born in Brooklyn. He eventually made his way to Douglas, working at Douglas in Santa Monica. Mm. And then Douglas he, Aircraft. Douglas Aircraft, which became McDonnell Douglas, exactly. which is now yeah. Boeing. Mm -hmm. And what happened was he was kind of headhunted to work at this small company, Ryan Airlines, that uh, Ryan Aircraft, that had just gone through its own transition, transition. Yeah. yeah, Mahoney, B.F. Mahoney had just purchased it. He needed a new engineer, he needed somebody who could do the job, and he got my grandfather, he went down there, and two days, three days later, a telegram arrived from back east that said, can you build an airplane from New York to Paris? And that was from Charles Lindbergh. And, and the caveat on this was 60 days to do it. 60 days to do it. <laughs> 60 days to do it, which is spectacular. That's why they had crews are working 24-7. It was just beyond spectacular. Because this was beyond comprehension. I mean, we yes. mm -hmm. at that time never thought that you could fly across yeah. the Atlantic. It was, it was, it was difficult for people to look up and not Why do we say nonstop? Crazy. It's got to be nonstop. There's no place to stop. Yeah, I mean, exactly. we say nonstop across the Atlantic. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, better be. Be right. Good, right. good point. But, but it does show, uh, the 60 days does show that the American spirit and the, Amer the spirit of the St. Yeah. Louis, the American spirit, we can do things many times, and Tanya was talking about this earlier today, mm. we a lot of times say no. Absolutely. We can't do it, but in reality, if you put the effort in and, not, and take away no out of it, things, good things can happen. You know, honestly, that is exactly the core of what this exhibition is about. It's not just a show about photographs and images and of the past. This is actually developed with ASU to be a, a, a teaching tool because we're, we're developing a curriculum to teach art, history, and science. And especially because what we're doing is we're just standing on the shoulders of an amazing team that did a spectacular job that successfully landed in Paris. Which, which people at the time thought it was unbelievable. This can't be done. It it's was one of those it can't be done things, wasn't it? Completely. Multiple people had died even the week prior to Lindbergh taking off. The f two French aces had, had died in the white and the white aircraft um, mm -hmm. on the way back, f on the way from Paris. You know, I like the comment that you made, we're only standing on the shoulders of people who have gone before us. And I think we, mm -hmm. not just younger, I'm, I'm so, I bash the younger generation and I shouldn't, and, and I apologize for that many times. But I think we all tend to think we're reinventing everything. We're reinventing, mm -hmm. it's right. our idea. It's never been done before. <laughs> I mean, we're standing on the shoulders of people who did this. They had no, Absolutely. they had no handbook. They were writing the rules. Absolutely, and that, that is, that's also the foundation for the country. You know, that is how we, we stand on such huge people who have you know, helped to craft this democracy. And Nova, it's just as much. Nova, we need flight. that today. Uh, to Tony's point, it. we need that today and what, what's happening with the economy. There's an answer out there and we need to pursue it and get it done. That is, that's what we want to do. We want to cultivate creativity through art, history, and science with Flying Over Time.
that's really what we want to do. Now, now uh, I'm sure your grandfather has told you, and I'm sure you have information that, that would uh, speak to this. The collaboration we're talking about, obviously the engineer and Lindbergh was the pilot, mm -hmm. but was there collaboration on the construction of the plane mm -hmm. from Charles Lindbergh? Constant, constant. What happened was, once Charles Lindbergh arrived, the two men, my grandfather and Charles Lindbergh, they, they just bond? they bonded because they looked at each other and they realized they were both serious. Oh. Mm. They were really and while Charles Lindbergh was putting his life on the line, Donald Hall was putting his reputation, his reputation on the line. Right. If if some part failed over the middle mm. of the Atlantic, it was over and nobody would ever really know. Nobody would have known. So their collaboration was constant. Charles Lindbergh moved in a, a desk into the same engineering office upstairs on the second story of Ryan um, Ryan Aircraft. And 60 days later, the plane rolled out. Fascinating. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when hearing your grandfather tell the stories, and I'm sure you grew up with all the stories. Actually, I never met my grandfather. He passed away oh. in 1968. And you were born a little in later than 76. that. 76. Okay. So, but I'm sure that even though you didn't meet him, stories came down from him into yes. your family. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you heard uh, the stories yeah. he told your family members. Uh, in telling the stories, uh, what was the human element that your grandfather passed on to the family? Well, you know, one of the biggest parts is in con conservation, love of nature. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I've lived in northern Arizona for many, many years, and this is my, this is my home when it comes to being in, in the woods, being in the nature. Also, the, a sense of following through and teamwork. Teamwork. I, I look at the the flight and the whole story that mm -hmm. came together, mm -hmm. and I see mm -hmm. how he he quarterbacked really this this this, yes, this giant undertaking, yeah. and it is teamwork. It takes a team to which, do something. Which in the business world today we need that. Absolutely. That needs to be the foundation of what we're talking about in the United States and indeed the world, isn't it? Right. Well, which is why we have why well, we just founded the Flying Over Time founded our Flying Over Time Corporation, which is a nonprofit. So we can do that because we we need to cultivate that. Now, are you headquartered in a physical place, or is this internet access uh, for the foundation? H how do we? Well, if you want to go to flyingovertime.com, mm -hmm. this is again we're being mentored through this with ASU. Again, the, you're the writing foundation. the rules as you go here. Really, a we're bit. learning. <laughs> we've been working extensively with SCORE uh -huh. through this SBA, mm -hmm. and we've been just so many people see the qualities of the story see the qualities of the artwork mm -hmm. and it's and are, and are learning the lesson as yes. they go through it yeah Nova will be with us when we return from commercial break also we're going to be talking about uh, Halloween mm -hmm. we have kids fashion expert with us followed by the um, Yavapai Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired but first the KFNN Money Minute on the morning scramble <laughs> 